Hi, we're back here for the Targa Florio Australian Tribute. We're here at the Regularity Motorsport Training Day at Lorbeck Luxury Cars, and I've got two very experienced Australian competitors who've uh, done a fair bit of competing overseas in Europe in uh, a lot of these events. We've got David Reedy, welcome. And we've got Lee Colbert. So Lee, I actually uh, had a bit to do with uh, a, a number of years ago, and uh, yeah, playing footy. And Lee, you're uh, you're in motorsport now. Well, that's probably a little bit. Um, I'd say. I reckon I'm just here to help David. I'm <laughs> I'm just a navigator, but um, I do help, and it's been um, yeah, it's been a great learning curve, but it, you know, exceptional events over in Italy, and great to see. Now we're going to have some in Australia. Now, David, uh, it's, uh, uh, we've spoken before about how big and how popular these events are in Europe. Uh, maybe just give everyone a little idea of uh, just the type of events you've competed in uh, overseas. Well, the, the event that everybody aspires to is the Milli Milia. I've been fortunate enough to do it nine times, eight with Lee, and he's been very modest about his input. Uh, a navigator is absolutely essential uh, to, to find your way around, to get to the places on time. Millie Millia has about 430 cars competing and yeah, I think around about 3 million people come out in various course spots to watch. Uh, so it's incredibly popular. If you think Tour de France and cycling, Millie Millia is in classic car racing. So for our Australian audience, it really is um, uh, vital that you have a, a good working relationship between uh, driver and co-driver. Driver, co-driver and motor car. Don't forget the motor car, most important. Yeah, well, now, uh, speaking of motor cars, uh, what, uh, what type of uh, cars have you uh, uh, driven overseas? Well, most uh, competitive events in Italy are, are cut off at 1957. That was the last year of the original Milli Milia. And so we've got two cars that are eligible and we've used them both. We've got a 1954 Fiat Otto Vu and we've got a 1935 Fiat Copadoro. Both cars that aren't seen here very much, but ideal for these sort of events. Now, uh, Colby, uh, with regards to the co-driving, uh, I've seen you've talked to a lot of the competitors who've been in the Australian event over the last two years. Um, the, the timing equipment and the way it's used is uh, essential, yeah? Yeah, it's not just A to B racing, and I think that's kind of, uh, you've got to get your head around that a little bit, but there is time sections and how you score, and yeah, there's various sort of uh, modes that you can use in terms of timing, but the, the key is the driver's got to be in tune with the co-driver and put that front wheel of the tyre um, on the tube, and that's how you score throughout the event. So the event scoring, um, uh, you know, it's one one hundredth of a second and that's uh, that sort of decides you know first to last and um, that's how yeah over a course of four days of the milli milli that's how you, you win or lose. Thousands of kilometres and it can all come down to a hundredth of a second. Afraid so, um, you know what Lee says is exactly right. Um, all the stuff of getting to the time section is the navigator's responsibility so the driver just kicks back and does what he's told and then when you get to these time sections like we're practicing today the driver comes into it and he has to do his bit well it's great that you've come along today it's great that you've uh, uh participating in the training uh would i be fair to say probably the most experience from an australian point of view uh in this in this sport We've probably stuck to it for the longest year. <laughs> the silliest, <laughs> the the silliest, the silliest I'd say. But, well. uh, yeah, there's, a, there's quite a few Australian entrants each year, but um, I think David's passion for um, motorsport and certainly in this type of um, racing is um, you know, testament to him going back nine years in a row. And um, yeah, it's a pretty big commitment, but we get over there and race not only the Milli Milia, but you know, the events prior to the, to the actual event. And then of course there's a series of events like the Targa Florio in Sicily, at, you know, Cess, and um, you know, quite a few other events throughout the year that, that the Italians predominantly focus on to try and be the champion of, uh, of the world in this event. Well, it's one of our taglines, passion has no boundary. There's certainly plenty of passion of people out here. Uh, the events uh, at the end of this year in Australia, 14th to 17th November, and uh, it's great that uh, a lot more people are interested in having, having a go at this stuff. So thanks, along for share, uh, thanks for coming along and sharing your experience, boys.